Hello everybody. In this video I show you how you can use a special rotating coil as a speaker. And for this rotating coil um, I have wound the rotating coil around a big ring magnet, a ferrite ring magnet. One just like this, similar in size. It's just a regular ferrite ring magnet. And I've put a plastic torus cover on it. So you can see two halves placed on top of the ring magnet and then I've wound a bifeller rotating coil over it and coated the whole thing in epoxy resin so it's well insulated. And then I connected the two wires um, to a small audio amplifier that you see here. So this amplifier is just connected via Bluetooth to my phone so I can play whatever signal I want over this rotating coil. And first off I'm just gonna play some music over it to show you how it works. So right now you possibly don't hear anything because it's really quiet when it's like this. But if I add just some new dimmium magnets to it like this. You should hear something and if I place it on the just on the floor, the floor will act as a resonator and you will actually hear the music that is played, which is quite nice, I think, for rolling coil like this. And yeah, I did some experiments with it and found out when I take just another magnet or magnet array like this and place it on the top here, you will um, hear that the sound itself changes. The bases or the bass frequencies become much more present and you also feel the vibrations of the bass frequencies in this magnet array that I'm holding over top here very clearly which is kind of cool. If I remove it, it's more high frequency pitched and sounding not so good as compared to when I put this magnet on top. This works with just another ferrite magnet that I have here also as well. Let me continue the music again. I don't know how well you can hear the music itself through the yeah, through the camera recording, but I can tell you in real life, if I put the, any magnet on top of here, the bass frequencies get amplified by a lot and you can also feel the vibrations. And I will show you that right now. So instead of playing music with it, I'm using a signal generator and I will play a sinus wave at 6 Hz on this rolling coil. And yeah, I will do that right now. And then I take a new dimmium disc magnet like this and just hold it over top of here like this. And you should already see how it is moving or oscillating at yeah, at the frequency of 6 Hz, just like this. And this is what I meant when I said um, that you can actually feel the bass vibrations a lot when holding a magnet over top of it, just like this. So, yeah, this basically is a, a very simple principle of how a speaker works. Oops, let go of it. And yeah, what's interesting with this one is that you don't actually have a, a resonator coin, cone that actually um, lets the air vibrate. But here it is just a coil itself sitting on the floor and the coil itself doesn't vibrate that much. But yeah, the floor itself acts as a resonator. 
and I show that again with music when I do this just like this it's only sitting on this small stack of magnets and as you can hear when I'm just holding it like this yeah, it's very quiet and very high pitched you almost hear nothing but as soon as I put it on the floor like this becomes louder also the mid frequency range is more present and again if I put another magnet on top you can hear the bass frequency is much better and also this array starts to vibrate a lot and I think the gap between here, the hole and the magnet array itself um, influences how the frequency itself or the frequency spectrum itself of the speaker sounds like because if I flip this array and make it attracting just like this it doesn't sound that well also when I increase the distance to it like one millimeter it sounds different then when I turn it around and also put it at the exact same position and it's repelling. I don't know why that is so, but I guess this is because yeah, this, this magnet array itself is vibrating and is therefore responsible for the bass frequencies. So, yeah, <laughs> stopped. <laughs> so, anyways. I thought this was interesting to show how you can make a simple speaker with a rotating coil and basically invert the base principle of how a normal speaker works. So thanks for watching and goodbye.